Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. And here we go, we're gonna have our landing gear done. And uh we just made another mock-up. Our our wood one that we had, that bulkhead, that was flexing too much. And that was just a mock-up to mount these gear on until uh we got the main one done. But it was flexing too much with them big old air cylinders, so dad had to come in here and make a little stiffer mock-up. We got the air cylinder hooked up. We only have a one-way brake valve at the moment. And uh, we're using hydraulics, so we don't need to worry about buying one, but we can raise them up. See, we got these cylinders here. These are on the locks, okay? Then push it down and lock the gear down. Now, also, when uh, you raise the gear, they'll pull on them and they'll pull them up. And uh, these big old air cylinders Dad made, they actually pull the gear up. Now they're going to go up kind of hard because we ain't got them restricted but the hydraulics will slow them down. Alright dad, raise them up. Bam! And dudes go up nice, don't they? And uh... We, like I said, we just got that brake valve so they'll go down nice and up and down nice and slow with them hydraulics. One more time dad. Yeah, we just got a little air tank. But uh... They're working and they're working good, folks. And uh, we're trucking right along. But uh, here, let me show them air cylinders, Dad. These are the how Dad's making them air cylinders. He's taking a big old hunk of aluminum like that and uh, milling it into the shape, and then milling out the center and getting in there with this flapper tool he made got real fine grit paper and he just walks it down and walks it down and walks it down and until uh, it's shining he gets that thing polished and uh, it works just as good as store bought and uh, you can make them to your own specs and I'm gonna tell you guys something uh, I too have put out some bad parts and I'm not afraid to tell you guys and show you what happened. I got a bunch of parts ready the other night and I was going to start laying them up yesterday. So the night before I sprayed my primer and uh, when I was laying them up I noticed that a couple of my parts the primer had lifted a little. And I thought oh no and I, I didn't think it did it to all of them. But sure enough almost everything I did yesterday is scrapped. So, uh, you know, my molds are getting seasoned now. Now wax is getting impregnated and my mold release and everything. So, uh, as soon as that primer is dry, you got to get this uh, glass on there or it'll start lifting and that's what I had. So I had to go and uh, scrap a couple parts yesterday, get my molds cleaned back up. That's what I'm doing this morning. And, uh, but I did make one good part yesterday, turned out my engine cover. See with that molded hatch, I took that this here piece that I made off my cell plug of just the door area and laid up a door. So uh, that's my molded hatch. And uh, guess what? Oh yeah, them things are mounted too. Tell me they don't fit like a glove. Man, they was almost too small for that. But uh, it worked out. Got me a couple rails in there. And I uh, still got to make my front ducts, but that's going to be easy. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. I'm just going to lay up a piece of glass on a flat piece of formica and then roll it around them two round deals I made. And then once I get, get it round, I'll put it on the front of my nacelle mold to get that square shape. And the other end I'll leave round. And then I'll wrap it with uh, carbon fiber. Let me tell you, by the time I get my bypasses made and we get these big old motors going to be sucking some air and if I don't carbon fiber them up to work like a two by four, man, they'll, they will collapse shut. And uh, we don't want that happening. But I'll show you how to carbon fiber them up and reinforce them real good. It'll, it'll be easy. Just a piece of cake. All this stuff is easy. But what you got to do, people, is take it in little chunks. Do little chunks and not look at it as a whole project. Ain't that right, Dad? That's right. So I'm, 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 that's why I'm kind of just focusing on my nacelles right now. I want to get my ducts made, 
I want to get a mold for my uh, bypasses, which that that won't be. That'll be pretty easy. I'm gonna have Dad whittle up a piece of wood. He don't know that yet, but he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna make. We're gonna make a mold out of a wood like we did our tail cones, and it'll be pretty simple. But I want to kind of focus up on these and get these done to where I can set my nacelles aside. Oh yeah, then we're gonna lay up a few slots. But uh, we're not talking a whole lot of time just to get my ducks made. It'll go quick. And then them things will be done. I won't have to back up. I can just put them aside. And them things will be ready to be mounted. But uh, this one here bubbled up on me too. Where it was bubbling up? It's right here, Butch. Butch, you think that's what it was? You think I made my primer set too long? I sure hope so. But that, that's just really slick now. And uh, as soon as that primer dried overnight, it just popped and you could see it. It kind of went across there. And a couple of them didn't do it until after I was already putting my cloth on. And, uh, but I had to scrap a couple parts. But not the end of the world, folks. That ain't going to stop me. You know, I talked to you earlier. We made up them parts. I got all my front pieces done. I'm going to let them dry for four hours until that just a rubbery, not quite real hard yet. Then I take my razor blade and I'll just trim that edge nice and sweet. It'll trim real easy. Then I can peel my peel ply off and I'll have a nice smooth edge, oil free edge at that. When I glue these together, it'll stick really good. And you use that peel ply, it takes the resin off the top, it takes the wax off the top of your resin, and you got a real nice surface that really holds glue well. But, uh, that's about all we got this week, folks. Me and Dad still plugging away. Little bits at a time, remember, little chunks at a time, and you guys can do this too. And that's why we're making these movies. Uh, I know there's people out there that want to do this. And if you watch every one of our movies, every one from start to finish, you can do this too. Except you might have to talk to Dad about making your landing gear. <laughs> but uh, we will... Uh, See you guys in the shop.